Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you all of my beauty empties for the month of August. Yes, so this is products that I have finished up during the month of August. And I'll show it to you, show you a little mini review. Whether or not I would repurchase and go from there. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, um, first of all, a makeup remover wipe. Talk about these in every empties. It's the Apple brand, and I get these at Big Lots. They're $2.50 a pack, and there is um, 36 wipes in here, and they are the ones that are comparable to the Pond's. And I really like these. I use these mainly continuously for like swatches and cleaning my hands and cleaning my vanity when I'm doing makeup. Occasionally I will wipe makeup off with it, off my face, but it's not my primary cleanser by any means. I mean, these just kind of mediocre will do it. I don't really like using wipes to clean off my face anyway, but these I do like to have at my vanity. The next product I have is from Dr. Teal's. It's the foaming bath with pure Epsom salt in the coconut oil. Um, I do like this and will repurchase at some point. Um, my husband and I have kind of slacked off a little bit on using this and the Epsom salts and I'll kind of get into why here in a few minutes when I get to the other product. But anyway, I do, I do like it. I think it's good. I just maybe not as much as what we were using it. Then I have a foot mask that I used and this is the baby foot exfoliant foot peel. This is these little booties. You put them on your feet. You let them stay on there for an hour. Then you wash your feet and then within five to seven days your feet start peeling and all that dead skin and calluses and just nasty snuff stuff off of your feet come peel off and then your feet are nice and smooth. I like to do these at the beginning of the season, the beginning of uh, spring and summer. And then at the end, um, because I wear flip flops every single day and my feet get pretty cracked and everything. This way, as we're going into fall, I'll be starting to wear socks and shoes more and then my feet will stay a little bit smoother, hopefully. But anyway, um, I do recommend this. There was one that I really liked that I got off of Amazon. And when I went back to order it, I can't get it anymore. But I really liked it. But that one, out of all of the other ones that I've tried, that one's been pretty good. Some cotton rounds. These are the Ulta Beauty Exfoliating Cotton Rounds. I used to rave and rave and rave about these. But I think they have changed the formulation of them, the quality, and they're not as good as they used to be. So once my stash is gone, I won't be repurchasing those. I have a shower gel. This is from um, Philosophy, and this was the Living Grace, and it was a perfumed olive oil body scrub, and I did like this. I loved the smell of it for one thing, but I just... This is a product that I can't use every single day because of the fragrance in it. It definitely would irritate my um, skin. So I just had it in the shower and would use it occasionally. But oh, the smell of it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, anyway, I had found this at TJ Maxx. And if I was to come across another one of these, I would get another one. Then I have a vitamin. This is the Olaganol. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say it vitamin that's supposed to be help with wrinkles it's supposed to help with belly bloat um, I don't know so much about it helping with um, wrinkles but I do feel like it helps with my tummy um, as far as bloating and that type thing goes um, supposed to reduce uh, belly belly fat I'm not so sure about reducing belly fat but I think it helps with the bloat. So anyway, I do like this and I don't have any right now and I need to get some because I can kind of tell the difference. Then for Mosima, um, I have the 
Organic Flower Toner in Deep Rich. This is a wonderful toner to use for the seven skin method. It's very hydrating. It's a little bit of a thicker toner. So you just take a couple drops, put it onto the palm of your hand, and then um, press it into the skin. The smell of it is to die for. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my goodness can't even begin to describe in the feeling the moisturization it's just a really really nice toner I have told myself I need to get through two more toners before I order this again but um, I'm sure with the holidays coming up that companies are going to start doing a lot of sales this, I think this is when I bought this last year was during Christmas anyway definitely on my radar to get another one. Then I have from Skin Diva the 20% vitamin C plus E. This has a ferulic acid serum. This is definitely a um, vitamin C serum that you would want to keep refrigerated and when you open it you want to um, be diligent on using it because if you don't use it up quick enough it will turn and oxidize and um, the vitamin C will become unstable so if you get this one just keep that in mind I'm using another one that I'm going to be showing in a haul that I think is very comparable to this but it was um, cheaper than this one so so at this point no I would not repurchase that one then I have a sunscreen and this is from Shiseido this is the um, urban environment oil free broad spectrum of SPF of 42 water resistant um, definitely would consider repurchasing I have another Shiseido one that I'm using and I think I out of the sunscreens that I have tried so far I'm really liking the Shiseido brand as a whole for sunscreen and I have a product from Kate Somerville this is the wrinkle warrior for eyes um, it's supposed to be visible dark circle eraser and supposed to help with puffiness um, I wasn't really that impressed with this product this was sent to me through Octoly uh, so I wouldn't go out and and purchase it and replace it so I have some other eye creams that I think work better than that Then I have a Clarisonic head that I am replacing. I think this is just one of the regular one possibly. I'm not really for sure because I had bought several back a while back when there was a sale and I'm trying to get through those and as soon as I get through all of those the one I'm going to be um, repurchasing and using is the Cashmere Luxe one. I really like that one but um, so but I did change my head out on my Clarisonic have a toothpaste this is the Colgate sensitive for whitening I like it um, I definitely have to have something for sensitive teeth and I do like to have something that is has some whitening properties to it um, I drink a lot of pop a lot of Diet Coke so in tea and so I do have continuous staining of my teeth and um, this helps a little bit with it I mean I don't have white white teeth I will probably never have white white teeth I've tried the whitening things and I don't get anything but a painful mouth from it so anyway then I have from Bare Minerals this is the 5-in-1 um, BB Advanced performance cream eyeshadow in the color soft linen and how I was using this as a all over the lid um, base that I was using kind of like what you would use max um, painterly paint po paint pot in like soft ochre um, along the same lines but I like this better and I have another one that I'm using that's a little bit darker but I liked this color better and if I was to look I don't know if they carry one even lighter than this I would have to check it out but at some point I would probably repurchase this one in soft linen unless they have a lighter one from Olo Henriksen Ulu Henriksen I had the power peel this was a um, three-part um, peel 
that you use one the first step was an almond polish and then you use the lemon strip and then there was a chamomile mask um, I don't really care for the almond polish I've I've said this before I don't really like using um, scrubs that have um, nut shells in it as far as this, the particle that is for exfoliation I just feel like it's a little bit too rough and too jagged but um, the lemon strip of this part is really really good so I know I know they carry they sell just a lemon strip in a jar I would just get the lemon strip and not get the little three pack part there from Prim, there was a um, micellar water. This was in like a charcoal one. And Clean Me Black Cleansing Water is what it was. Um, it was okay. There's still some in there. I, I just can't get it out. Um, I like the um, the Cocaine Doe clean, micellar water better than this. So this was just a deluxe size sample. I wouldn't um, purchase the full size of that. Then I have a couple of deluxe size samples of La Mer that I used. One was the La Mer um, just original moisturizing cream and the other one is the soft cream. I like just the original one um, out of the two, but I would never ever purchase a full size of either one because the pricing is just astrono astronomical, too expensive, and there's other products out there that you can get that is very similar to the La Mer, if not the exact, that works just as good. Then I have a couple of sponges. I'm not really for sure where I got this one at. Probably TJ Maxx or someplace like that. I don't know what brand it was, but I didn't really care for it. And then I have one of my um, Real Technique sponges that I found in the bottom of my makeup brush basket that needed to be cleaned. <laughs> so this one's definitely going in the trash. It's kind of gross. And then the last thing I have is um, some product. It's one product, but it was a bath product product that I had got and it's the Aveeno Baby um, Eczema Therapy Soothing Bath Treatment with Colloidal Oatmeal and um, this kind of goes back to um, the reason why I'm not going to be using so much of the Dr. Teal's um, Epsom salts and the bubble bath is um, I am um, irritated my lady parts and ended up with a yeast infection so I was using this <laughs> to kind of help ease that while the medicine that I was given prescribed to me by my doctor took effect. Anyway, um, so we've decided, my husband and I both have kind of decided to ease up when the doctor teals. And um, I did use this. This really helped during that, that time of um, irritation. And so if you have some irritation, and the only reason why I got the baby is I was at Walgreens. And for the life of me, I couldn't find the regular one. So i seen this at the for the babies and I thought well it'll, it'll be fine I just need to get it so I can get home and get in the tub and soak my lady parts because <laughs> they were irritated anyway so do recommend that for that type of situation anyway so that's it for my empties not too much this month but anyway it was enough so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you soon